Finally at 7, from a full moon that accurately describes the temperatures to the best meteor shower of the year, December's a great month for sky watchers. John Hickey joins us from the backyard with Skywatch 16 to tell us why we should be looking up. Yeah, it's a great month to look up, Scott and Lisa. There's all sorts of stuff to see. And our, our observant sky watchers have been noticing uh, three bright stars in the southwestern sky, and those stars are about to have some company. Take a peek for yourself. Those quote unquote stars are the planets Jupiter, Saturn and Venus. Venus, the brightest of the bunch and lowest on the horizon too. And uh, coming up uh, early next week, they've got some company as uh, our waxing crescent moon will be joining them between the 6th and the 8th. You don't need any special equipment. Just look to the south and southwest sky in the evenings and you'll be able to spot that. Uh, also, we've got the Geminid meteor shower. That's going to be peaking in the wee hours of uh, the December 14th morning. And of course, our meteor showers are named by uh, where the, uh, uh, the meteors seem to uh, be coming from. So that would be the constellation Gemini. It tends to be one of our best of the year, but unfortunately, we've got a very bright moon that'll be up most of the night. So you're really gonna wanna look after about 4 a.m., but you can see as many as 50 per hour. And then last but certainly not least, our full cold moon is coming up on the 18th, officially full at 1135 at night. It's actually up for the longest period of time out of any of our full moons. So there's some lunar facts for you. Uh, you won't be able to see this, but coming up for next week, uh, NASA is going to be launching a new mission that's going to help improve space communication and give us the potential to see and hear high definition video and audio from space. I'm talking with a NASA expert on Friday, and that'll be the subject of next week's Skywatch 16.